<laughs> so do you mean that's not an illusion? No, there are no. people there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. There, there's, there's, those ponies are real? Those ponies are real. Oh my goodness, I'm every pony! <laughs> chair for this year. I'm going to borrow a microphone and hand it to this gentleman. Hello, uh, 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 hello, our county here. I am the vice chair or the chair of vice, depending on how you prefer. All right, let's try that again. So, hi, I'm Arcana. I am the vice chair or the chair of vice, depending on which one you prefer. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're both. We're and Michelle is also uh, one of the vice chairs, and like I said, she'll uh, she had a bad timing for her, uh, work for her this uh, this year, but she will absolutely be here later today and then for the rest of the weekend, and she can't wait to see you all. So um, yes, we we are so happy um, that you have all decided to come and join us again for another Windy City. Um, this is you know our. These events mean so much to all of us and so much to all of you, and we just really appreciate you all coming. So thanks so much for uh, continuing to keep these things going. You guys are amazing. <laughs> So of course we do want to cover a couple things with you. Um, so first of all, we just want to make sure that everyone is on the same page as far as our code of conduct and health and safety stuff is concerned. So just so you all know, um, per the request of the vendors, we are requiring masks for everyone while in the vendor hall. Um, if you do not have one available, they will be at the door for you to grab. Um, and uh, currently at this time, I believe that is the only place where we are requiring them. But it's, you know, certainly if you want to wear one at your option, you are more than welcome to. And um, it would not hurt to have one on you just in case you feel like you want to put one on or, you know, in whatever circumstances you might find yourself in. Safety, safety is fun. Safety, 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 safety. This is my new favorite cheer. <laughs> Safety dance. <laughs> <laughs> in addition, just going on that, because we have lowered the, uh, the you know the policies a little bit from our last previous events, I just want to yeah, we just no want to ask that. everyone, please, if you are finding yourself to be feeling anything other than a hundred percent, please take precautions to um, make sure that you are taking care of yourself and not potentially um, you know putting something into the air where other attendees might. Um, you know, might, might pick something up. A con crud was a thing long before COVID, so I'm not even just talking about COVID. Just in general, um, if you are feeling uh, in any way under the weather, uh, mask is a great idea, and um, and anything beyond that, um, you know, just um, you know, make 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 smart choices. <laughs> um, so uh, 
Beyond, beyond that, I um, just want to take a moment to thank two very uh, special and important groups of people to our events. Um, first of all, our volunteers. All those funny folks back there is uh, you know, a good portion of our AV staff and other people that, are, that were around to help that are, you know, set up the stage for us. Mm. This takes so much work and goes all night long and all morning long, and not to mention all the other AV elements and the rest of the convention. So, you know, it, it, when I say it, you know, there's, there's so, there, there are very particular, specific groups that we could not do these events without, and volunteers and especially AV people are, are among them for sure. So thank you very much to AV and to all yeah. of the volunteers. Yeah. <laughs> I also want to show, throw a shout out to our, um, our our team this year. Um, I think this might be some of the best merch we've ever had. Um, these shirts are amazing. Um, our pin this year is gorgeous. Um, uh, who got one of the Sleepy Bean Kigus in their sponsor Woo! bags? Woo! They're, they're adorable. Is anybody wearing one right now by chance? Just out of curiosity to show it off? No, I don't see one. That's that, that was very scary for me when I was stranded on the island. I thought I was seeing duplicates of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that supplies on these shirts and on the Kigus are very limited. Um, each of them are $50 and they're available at the con store, but uh, if, they, if they don't sell out today, if not tomorrow, I'll be very surprised. So just so you know on that. Uh, plenty of other great merch though to, uh, to look at there, but- um, We're yeah. gonna have a Too Many Pinkies event with the Sleepy Beans. <laughs> oh, there you go, perfect. Um, um, but then um, going along with that though, just uh, artists and vendors in general, I was wondering, uh, one of my community guest friends, um, those, the door in the air wall, so the vendor hall is right on the other side of this wall right there. Would you be able to crack that door open for me? Oh. I think it just sort of just opens. There's like a handle, you just kind of pull it open. Probably have to, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh, oh. Oh, open it up very wide. So I'm going to give you thank you artists and thank you vendors. One, two, three. Thank you artists and vendors! Please do go uh, and give them all your bits. They deserve it. Thank you. Um, in, addition, um, in addition to our gorgeous con book and our website, um, that has a ton of information on it. We also do have an app, just in case you all weren't aware. Um, there is a QR code in the comic book that you can stand, scan to get the app if you don't already have it. It is on both Android and iOS. If you already had it installed, uh, when you open it up, it takes a minute to just refresh the panels if it had last year's data in it or whatever, but it is, uh, does all appear to be on there. You can use the app. You can kind of like bookmark the things that you want to do, kind of make your own little personal schedule in the app. And our volunteer, Brandon White, does this by himself, takes up a stupid amount of time. Is Brandon here by chance? I believe he was coming. No, I don't see him. Okay. But no, Brandon's awesome, and uh, we're very lucky to have him as one of our volunteers. So definitely check out the app if you are so interested. Otherwise, comic book, of course, works great, too. Um, so yeah, with that being said, um, how would you all like to meet some of our guests of honor? Yeah. Let's see what I got hiding back here. <laughs> So what's very cool is that we have three, right? Yeah, three first timers to Winnie City this year. Um, a couple of people have been with us at other events, but of our four guests of honor, three have never been to Winnie City before. So uh, I'm going to start with one of them. Um, this guest of honor uh, previously was at the MLP MSPF event, um, and then also attended a, I believe, a cider fest in the past. Um, and then um, the last the last time that I saw him was at High Roller Pony Con in Vegas um, a couple of years ago. Actually, five years ago this weekend, exactly. So that's fine. Um, but yes, uh, please do welcome to the stage the one and only Mr. Vincent Tom. Yeah. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Michelle. We didn't get a Charlie cheer, so I wanted to do that. A little Charlie. Charlie! 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 Charlie!
can't tell him no, so that was, that was devious. You um, missed the memo on that. He banned those like a year ago. <laughs> um, okay, so of course, um, uh, Flash Century. Um, but aside from that, Vincent, for those who might not be aware, yes. Uh, what other characters have you voiced in the show? Um, let's see. Let's go from the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. <laughs> um, Prince Blue Blood. Hello. Cool fritters. I think Garble the Dragon. Let's <laughs> spike you, bikey. Big police. Um, I did a guy named Sambar. Rumble. Oh yeah. Yeah, don't do it. Don't joke. It's the whole Utopia. Rumble? Yeah! Oh, no cutie marks? Um, no, he doesn't. At all. Right. Um, if you had the ballpark of the number of voices that you have done, do you have yeah. any idea? Like, not even just Pony, like, like his IMDb <laughs> list is like is that a mile long. Right here? I would say probably seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> <laughs> Editor's note, I think it's higher than that. But. Okay, <laughs> Anyways, so Vincent's here and he's going to be around. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see what else we got. <laughs> let's bring up one of our returning friends. Um, so, uh, this guest of honor, um, you'll be able to find her in the vendor hall this weekend, um, as well as some, several other guests of honor events. She can't wait to see you and to sign things and to sell you her comic books and all sorts of very fun things. Please welcome the one and only Brenda Hickey. <laughs> I'm just like, put me in a corner and hide. But I will be brave and I will say hi to everybody. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so happy to be here again at Winnie City. I did this show back in 2018. It was a lot of fun. So I'm hoping to meet a lot of new faces, see a lot of people that I met back then again. And it's going to be good. Um, and I'll be at the vendor hall all weekend at table 18. And I can't wait to try you some ponies this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you, Brenda. Yeah, thank you so much, Charlie, for having me. And, and Michelle, too. Always a pleasure, yes. Yeah, thank you, and, guys. And our, our comment, too. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> thank you so much. Sorry. It's okay. He's a new addition to the family. That's okay. Oh. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, um, so let's bring up another guest of honor. So um, this, uh, this, this gentleman is the first time that he has uh, been to any of the events that I have been a part of. I got to meet him for the very first time, maybe about like 15, 20 minutes ago, and my first impressions are very, very positive. I think you're going to love him. Please welcome Michael Dangerfield. Woo! Thank you, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I do a little Bill Burr impression. I don't know if you, you know, Bill Burr is here, all right? So uh, we're going to start talking like Bill Burr here for a few minutes. Right, so uh, it's one of my favorite impressions. I'm kidding. It's, uh, it's so cool to be here. Honestly, I've been to a con in nine years. Wow. Uh, been, been busy, having a family, but the last one I was at actually was with uh, Vincent Tong, uh, in, I think in Edmonton, uh, Canada. And uh, it's just great to be back. And so thank you so much. Thank you, Charlie, the whole team uh, for having me here. It's really great to be here. Thank you so much. And uh, so that leaves one more. Um, so it's very exciting. We always love to have, having first timers, whether it's a seasoned convention uh, vet, but a first timer with our group. That's always fun. But it's always fun having somebody for their first convention experience. Period. Because <clears throat> I personally think that you all do a really good job of giving people a great first impression of our fandom and just making them feel welcome and accepted and just part of the family. Right? You think you can do that for me? Yeah. So please welcome one of the newer members to the MLP family. <laughs> The voice of the uh, G5 pit uh, pedals, AJ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo! Thank you. 
Hip, hip, I'm hooray. so happy to be here, and you all look amazing! Yeah. Yeah. Literal goosebumps, if I'm not wrong. I know, I'm not kidding! <laughs> It's so great to have you. So, of Thank course, you. like I said, Pip Pedals. Um, is there anything else that you can think of that folks might know you from out in the animation world? Yeah, I, have a, I have some stuff coming up, but I'm on a lot of time at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like it's... it's uh, I come from the music world and musical theater world, so... <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. So, yeah, it's the, the skill set, like, aligned with what I love to do. I'm also a professional goofball, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is um, really one of the coolest things I've ever been a part of. So thank you for welcoming me, welcoming me into this this community and this this family. I really appreciate it. Give it up for AJ and our guests of honor this year. So I'm so glad that um, AJ mentioned musical theater because that is the perfect transition into the next thing that we want to talk to you about. We have a new charity this year. And uh, Arcana is going to tell you a little bit about our charity. Yeah, so unfortunately the charity reps couldn't be here today. They'll be here on Sunday. But uh, just a uh, show of hands or show of noise. Anybody here like charity? Like do good things? Awesome, awesome. So we've got a charity this year which is about face theater. It is located here in Chicago. We're close enough. To Chicago. And since Chicago I, land is all Chicago. Chicago land. If you say so. <laughs> and they have, for the past 28 years, if my math serves, uh, been promoting uh, LGBTQ equity through uh, community, through theater, and through education. So they will be here on Sunday. So the, aside from the auction, of course, there's a few other events that uh, that are going to help benefit to the charity um, and the, the total amount that uh, the convention will be able to say that we've donated to them. Um, so we've got uh, Cards Against Equestria, which is a panel that's happening tonight or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow night, thank you. Uh, I know my convention so well. And, um, and then uh, there's the Bottle Share for Charity, which is, of course, a 21 House event. And uh, that we've done at a few other cons, and it's a really fun time. Um, there are some... Uh, you'll want to look up, uh, if you're interested in that, if you don't already have a ticket, I do believe they are still available. Uh, however, there is, there, you'll want to read up on exactly what that entails if you want to be involved. Because um, in addition to the ticket you do, before your ticket, you do get a souvenir, but you do have to bring a contribution. I won't talk about it too much longer. You can check out the information on the website on that one. Um, and then I'm trying to think, I know that we'll have a kids' charity auction on Sunday. Um, so if any kids uh, want to, you know, I know that the charity auction here can get nuts and those numbers can get really high. So if kids want to participate and kind of keep things more more at, you know, uh, their level, um, they'll be able to do that on Sunday. Allowance money. Yeah, perfect. That's yeah. it. That's, that's, that's there we go. Um, and then I think that might be a great thing that goes with the charity. Yes. Um, but yeah, of course, the auction is going to be really fun stuff. Um, or just give them money. They will just take money too. <laughs> Um, uh, but uh, in case any of you are wondering, how do I donate something to the charity auction? So from the lobby, right up that little staircase by that glass fishbowl where the car rental place is, that is where our charity room is. There are specific hours that it will be open on all three days. You can find those in the comic book, and they're also written on the banner outside the room. When the room is open, you can bring your donations there. We can take them in, take out some information, and all that fun stuff. Um, and then you can also go there at any point in time to see the things that are going to be available at the auction. Um, I've already seen a couple things that are going to be up, up uh, available for the, uh, this year. My mouth is failing. And um, yeah, no, it looks like it's going to be uh, a really, really good one. So great, uh, great first one for them. Can't wait for that. Um, so yeah, I know, and I know they're not here to hear it, but please give it up for our charity this year. About this year. <laughs> A story about a concert <clears throat> named Charlie Worthy that had an amazing event, and I was hearing a song, um, Come Mr. Coconut, Tell Me Banana or Lime or something. <laughs> oh, you're still here! That Hi. wasn't a dream! Uh, <laughs> Hi! Are, are, you, are you okay? <laughs> I've been on the island a lot of times. <laughs> 
Are you done talking? <laughs> 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 now it's time to cheer for you. Hey, Charlie! 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 I meant a round of boots. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Not at all necessary. But thank you. And then I will continue on. Yes. Go back. Oh, you're kicking me off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Bye, Charlie. Bye. That sounded scary. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a nightmare. <laughs> I like my come Mr. Coconut Talony Banana from Brother, where I heard the Charlie man talking in my ears. We love Charlie. Yes, don't we? <laughs> you know who else we love? We love. Some other friends from the community that we honor by calling them community guests! Woo! Yeah. So I think it's time to be ladies guests and bring them out! Yeah! <laughs>
That's what happens when you put on the mask. Oh, jeez. Keep the cheering going. Woo! Check out their events and tell them how much you appreciate them. Another hard worker. What's happening? Bye bye now. I got scared. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Another hard worker. We're going to get to the stage now. Is Black Rock. Hello! Hi, Winnie City! Hi. It's good to see you all again! And looking so beautiful today! Uh, hey, I am the programming director for Winnie City, so uh, that beautiful schedule on your con book, I helped make that. Anyways, Hi. we got a lot of cool stuff this weekend, uh, and we want to tell you a little bit about it. So first I'm going to hand it over to our video game lead, Hazmat! Hello! Hazmat, uh, do you guys like video games? Yeah! Uh, do you guys like uh, saying funny things on stage? Yeah! Well, I got the wonderful event for you guys coming up. We're about to back to Quiplash with Guest of Honor's event again this year. Um, and I'm very excited to say that uh, we're doing it again um, uh, against our uh, better judgment. Wow, how does that work? Uh, so, how it works is we have two qualifier events throughout the weekend. One on Friday, one on Saturday. Uh, Sign-ups will be in the panel room, so uh, don't go to video game room for that because they don't have sign-ups there. <laughs> um, and uh, when you sign up, we do have limited slots, so be sure to be there quick. Um, and then if we run out of sign-ups, uh, I'm sorry, but we have we have future plans to continue doing it as long as it continues to be funny. Um, so uh, thank you guys so much for your excitement about these events. And then uh, a couple other things we've got going on in the video game room, uh, because yes, we exist. And, uh, we've got a Mario Kart tournament uh, tonight at 4 o'clock. And then we have a Super Smash Brothers tournament at uh, like 3 or 4 I don't know the schedule. I am horrible. <laughs> Um, Look and, at your con books. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your con books. We've got a Super Smash Brothers tournament, and as always, we have a grand prize for that as well. Um, something small, mostly. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. Uh, and then please make sure to give a big thank you to uh, Video Game Room Entertainment again this year for <laughs> supplying all their stuff. Um, and make sure to, to stop by and chill out if you just want to hide from people for a little while. Do you want to tell them where the video game room is, just in case? Yes. So, video game room, if you guys don't know, is in the Slate Room. That is over by, like, where special events and autographs is. Uh, it's one door oh. down from that. So just, like, you go for autographs, you go keep on going down just before the bathrooms. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Hazmat. I'm over there. I saw your um, Also, I don't... <laughs> So last year we introduced a new area to the convention um, that we're now calling the Sleepy Beat Pavilion. We're using it a lot this weekend, and I want to make sure everyone knows where it is. There's a tent basically on the other side of those walls, and to get to it, you go down this hallway, out the doors, and then there's a little covered area that you just kind of follow, and then into the tent. There's a lot of really cool stuff out there, including the Renegade stage, today and Sunday. Woo! Uh, yeah. Sign-ups for that will be available as soon as I get out of here and go put them over there. And it's named after me! Uh, yeah. So, so many cool events. Come check it all out. I look forward to seeing you all. Uh, we're going to keep things moving, so now I'm going to hand things over to the music lead, Koa! But before that, Charlie's going to do something. <laughs> Charlie! Charlie! Oh, no, none of that. No more <laughs> Can I prematurely eject you before? Just, uh, what? Yes. When you, you left the stage, I didn't mean to kick you off before you were done talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forget. It's okay. okay. Uh, real quick, just uh, in addition to getting the set to come up here, I just want to bring uh, one of our both community guests and actual sponsors up onto the yeah, stage. Please welcome David Fintax back up. Woo! I want to talk to you about a couple of special things in addition to everything Luck mentioned that I want to make sure everyone is aware of this weekend. Um, so, uh, Vivid, what, what are a couple things that people might want to watch out for on the schedule? Especially if you're interested oh, in Cider Fest. Mm. Uh, it's a great Cider Fest. Uh, we've got a very special theme this year for Ponyville Cider Fest. It is an interactive storytelling adventure. Woo! Woo! 
I won't take up all of our time, but folks, we've been working on this for like nine months now. It's going to be a really huge event. And we have a preview for you uh, on Sunday morning, actually. We're going to be doing a, uh, a panel about collaboration as well as giving a little, just a little taste of what you can expect at uh, Honeywell Cider Fest this year. So that is Sunday at... Time. Time. Look at the Oh, yes, and then of course tomorrow. Uh, who here likes stories? We've got some special friends going to help us tell a story. Uh, we've got a, the GOH script reading tomorrow, uh, Saturday, for the GOH panel. We're, uh, the panel is at 11.30 in the morning. Sounds about right. Uh, we're going to have all of our guests of honor, as well as some wonderful community guests, helping us uh, to tell a, an original story that is only going to be shown here. It's not being recorded. This is the only chance you have to see these characters telling this story. So, uh, looking forward to it. <coughs> And uh, last but not least, make sure you stick around for closing ceremonies, because there might be something special there. Okay. So, with all that, thanks, Vivid. Bye. And I'll turn it back over to your regularly scheduled program. Everybody, here's our music league for this year. Say hi to Koa! <laughs> Have I got two packed nights of incredible musical acts for you, okay? Like, tell me, are you guys ready for the most banging beach party you've ever been to? Are you ready for two nights worth of banging beach parties? No, I am not ready, I need a nap. <laughs> well, you rest up while I announce these wonderful musicians. First up, Kicking off our Grand Galloping Luau event, we have the Ukulele Brownies! And then continuing the Luau event, we have Bulls! Dark and brooding pagan Pegasus. Then, if you're a house dance type, we have four stays. And closing out Friday night, the wonderful statues. But that, my friends, is only the end of night one. Night two. I think this looks like a great lineup, and I can't wait to, uh, to, to, uh, to stop and have the concert as much as I possibly can. But I just want to take one moment real quick uh, to... I mentioned that there's two groups of people that are really important to making sure that these concerts are success. The volunteers, of course, are one of them, and the other is a sponsor. If you have a sponsor badge here, can you please put your hand up? Please give 
give it up for them. Yeah, absolutely. Our sponsors, I say this every time and every time it's true. Um, we could not do these events without our sponsors. Our sponsors are uh, our sponsors, sponsor, ba uh, sponsor badges, package badges, and spirit badges are responsible for over 70% of the income for these events. Wow. And so to say that we could not do it without them is a, 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 as true as it could possibly be. So I just want to say thank you very much for the sponsors. And uh, please give it up for them one more time. Yeah. And we can't wait to see you all around the convention. I'm going to pass it back over to our good friends from Thank you very much. <laughs> Sleepy, are you okay? Uh, no. All of that exciting news about all the musicians and the panels and the community guests, I'm a little bit tangled up. I don't know what I'm going to do all weekend long. Wilson? Wilson? Wilson! Oh, Wilson! Wilson! Well, can you tell how happy he is? <laughs> well, on behalf of the mascots and the whole staff and leadership team of Winnie City, we want to welcome you to the Tropical Getaway, and we hope that you have an amazing time. Come on up, spread up, spread up, and we are going to do our best Hawaiian dance. <laughs> Explain how much fun you're going to have. Ready? One, two, three, go! <laughs> and I want you to dance your little hooves out the door to all of your fun to things that are lying ahead of you this weekend. Thank you, everybody. Welcome to Winnie City.